just a, a few moments' time. Well, well, to start, I suppose the acting career first up, because, as I say, you've, you've done some new things with uh, some of the biggest names in the business, haven't you? See, I was in a play which transferred at the West End, and then through that, I had a two-year contract with uh, Elstree, mm. up at Elstree Studios with EMI. Right. And then one thing led to another, and I worked in America, and I worked in England, and then eventually I got round to coming here, which is the best thing I ever did, uh, on a promotional tour with Fox Columbia for a film called Lady Charlie's Lover. That's right, in which you played the husband. Wheelchair bound. Sir Clifford. Yes, Sir Clifford. Yeah. That's where we met for the first time in Another That's Life, right. the Don Lane show. Yes, yes. You won't believe me that was my father? I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like yes. Did you? Uh, you look the same. Thank you. Oh, I like this man. <laughs> Seven, eight minutes at least for Chambra. Then on this, we had dinner or else on one occasion we took uh, Andrew because his, his ship was delayed and he couldn't leave the country and so he rang up Wendy and said, uh, what can, what can I do? So I said, yeah, can you come up? Come up, what do we take out of the boat? Mm. Not thinking that he would, but anyway, a half an hour later, he was on the doorstep. Yeah. Shane Bryan has the best of both worlds. He's a fine actor, and now we discover a fine journalist, and this is his latest book called The Chasen Catalyst, and it's all mystery and intrigue. Please welcome Shane Bryan back to our show. Hi, Shane. Nice to be back on the set, so Let's go through some of the people that, uh, that you've worked with, and maybe just a thumbnail sketch of saying uh, Paul Newman who of course is and aren't we the pretty boy there too Shane look yeah, at that it was a few years ago yeah. <laughs> Paul five, Newman five, is five years ago five years ago thank you uh, nice man to work with delightful man absolutely delightful I mean he was one of, I was 23 when I worked with him and he was already by that stage had been a major star for 10 years was that by the way Shane that was called the Macintosh Man of course John Houston I think we've got Jack Polance here and he's a real character mm. famous for uh push-ups now. Um, are you going to have lunch? And he said, why? They want me to buy you lunch. <laughs> and I said, no. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you have that sense of humor. Yeah. No, I just wondered if you, uh, if you had any friends in England. And he said, why? Do you want to meet my friends? <laughs> so I was, I was reading the script and he said, you're counting lines. And I said, no, I'm not. I'm not counting lines. He said, you're counting lines. He said, it lines mean nothing. He said, do you know in Shane how many lines I had? And I said, no, and he said, I had seven lines, mm. and it made my career, you know, and uh, lines mean nothing. Well, he was nominated for that, wasn't he? Yeah, thank, thank you very much. Thank you, Jay.